planning permission is sought for the retention of a two-storey rear extension with amended window design. The application is retrospective, having already been built. The applicants have sought to apply for permission retrospectively, having realised that they have misinterpreted works that could have been taken place under permitted development rights. Amendments to the extension are proposed within this application as a result of concerns that the local planning authority has raised with the applicants in relation to the first floor bedroom window nearest the rear gardens to properties that front Cuffitz Rake. An angle of window is proposed that restricts the line of sight into the rear gardens at 1, 3 and 5 Cuffitz Rake. The extension brings the built form of this dwelling close to the rear boundaries of numbers 3 and 5 Cuffitz Rake. Ideally, a distance of some 10 metres would be sought between any two-storey built development and the rear boundary of properties. This is to ensure that overlooking of adjacent garden areas, particularly rear gardens, is kept to an acceptable level. The distance achieved in this instance is 9 metres, so it is marginally short of that which would normally be sought. However, given the relatively deep gardens on properties that front of its range, only the very bottom parts of these gardens will be affected, and some of the view of the extension is obscured by existing boundary fencing. There are no habitable room windows that are overlooked, so there would be no loss of privacy into adjacent habitable rooms. The scale of the extension is considered to be appropriate to the main dwelling, which is a detached property that sits in a good-sized garden. The extension does not dominate the original part of the dwelling and incorporates roof pictures and design that match the original property. There remains a good-sized rear garden space for the dwelling and the extension is set off the side boundaries. There are no highway implications arising from the development as our street parking is retained within sight. The extensions are not considered to harm either the character of the area or the amenities of adjoining properties. The development is considered to be appropriate for the size of the plot. And in terms of its relationship with the original property, it complies with criteria set out in policy HS11 for house extensions. The application is recommended for approval and there is no petition associated with this application. Okay, again, no petition. I uh, don't see uh, all council present to speak, so it's open to members. David? Uh, just very quickly, Chair, I live about a half a quarter of a mile from this and pass it every day. Every day. There is absolutely no impact on the street scene or anybody else by approving this application, so I suggest we reduce that. Okay, uh, so I'm going to recommend approval. Second. Very, very well, second. George, and um, one second. Okay, all those in favour of approval, please show. Anybody against? No, it's unanimously approved. Now we're going to 13. Okay, the only thing with this is. If you notice slightly different from the previous reports, the agents and the applicants are not on this report. Um, I did question it in terms of having to declare interest. Because they are in delegated authority, um, that would mean there would be no reason to declare interest. So they are for effectively for noting. Does anyone any comments on any of them? No, we note those. So we then move on to item 14, which are uh, decisions um, from appeals. Um, any comments, Kathy, to make or observations? Two more. Okay, now, clearly, clearly, clearly we, we have made decisions in this committee which are something that we've been uh, overturned. I have no doubt in my own mind on. The first one that took the right stance in terms of uh, for the perception and the uh, nature of what we want Birkenhead to be uh, and what we want the future to be and those issues in and around planning uh, things we did our best but there are lots of other issues associated with this but I, I feel uh, justified in, in particular. The second one, um, I think it was a split decision on the committee so the we got it right at the this point. Um, and the other one, obviously, we, 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 we are okay. But I think what we're trying to encourage officers to do is detect trends from the uh, inspectors of where they're going and what, what's happening so we can be advised better than our decision making in the future. So that, that is the yeah. issue. Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite aware of an AOB. 
which I did mention earlier on, which I have to do under um, AOB, um, around site visits. Um, I think there's been a great deal of anticipation in and around the World Waters applications. I have been informed that it's possible, but not certain, that one application at least will be before us at the November Committee, if not the December Committee. And as we're on the, on the bus, as, as of where uh, for two site visits, I'm proposing that we go to look at what is being described as the legacy project. And there's another one in the pipeline that we may as well be preempted about to be seen as proactive rather than and enabling is the Belong project, which is another River Waters project. So with your permission, we'll have them to the tour. Um, uh, and obviously, we're, we're, once you go on the tour, I, I bet you miss it. I don't feel like I'm just for one application, so we may as well, well, I've got the officers and the team together, we may as well go and uh, use the resources for all Is that agreed by anybody? Thank you, Yeah, yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, not aware of anything else then? OK, thank you. And uh, just to finish off, what do you think of so far? <laughs> no, don't say that. OK. <laughs> so, there it is. I do have one otherwise in the business. Uh, you should have been well prior to the committee. It's, it's not to be discussed tonight. It's what? Uh, oh, go on. Can, can I ask for an update on the Thorns and Manor situation for the next meeting? OK, yeah. Can we have an update on the Thorns and Manor situation for the next meeting? Yes. I that. I'm, I mean, I can give a, a brief update now in that the, um, as much as I'll be able to tell members of the next meeting, is that the Court of Appeal is to hear the matter on um, either the 5th or 6th of March next year. Okay, well, that's an update. Do you need it next time? Or if we have any more news? Yeah, there's okay. the, 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 Okay, so again, yeah, thank you all. Thanks for attending the meeting.